When I was really young, I went to the West Coast for a summer job, and I worked in an automotive factory that remanufactured V8 engines, and I got the idea out there to trade in my return plane ticket to buy a very old 66 Mustang, and then without a driver's license or insurance or a spare tire, drive it from Los Angeles back to our home in Michigan without telling my parents. I think I just always identified my whole life, my whole approach to being my own person was that summer, that trip in that Mustang. One of the reasons why I love working at Ford is because we're a company that would make Mustang for Europe. I remember the early days when we were considering this, a few of us were talking to Bill Ford about it, and he said, Jim, through my whole life of being connected with Ford, my father, my grandfather, me, I have always dreamed of visualizing driving a Mustang in Europe as the ultimate expression of what makes our company different. Something that we've never done as a company, but we could only do because of how far we've come. Oh, look at that. I recognize that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's good. Even smells the same. Oh, it definitely smells the same. <laughs> That's fantastic. I gotta start it up if you don't mind. Yeah. Wow, that brings back some memories. Yeah, that's what makes a Mustang a Mustang too. I remember talking to the engineer, a sound engineer, and he said, yeah, I just went around to garages with a microphone for, for literally days and days listening to older Mustangs, try to get the sound of the exhaust just right. You know, you had cool stuff back then, right? You had like rear windows that, that rolled down. And you know what's nice about these fastbacks is they were, they were beautiful cars, no B-pillar. So, you know, they were really, oh, and you want air conditioning? Uh, that's air conditioning right there. <laughs> you see these? These three things? No one would ever notice that. You see this? And this character line goes all the way back and creates this very strong shoulder on the other side. You find the same pinched detail on this car. And this detail has the same strong shoulder as the original car. You know, one of the most important parts of Mustang was price. Its idea is a lot more affordable. It's not so disconnected from the past that it doesn't feel like a muscle car, but it can't be unsophisticated. Getting that balance is not easy. And this car did it. These cars are 50 years apart, and you can still see all the connections. It's, it's kind of cool seeing them both side by side. For my life now, I definitely get the new one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it'd be nice to have a friend with this.